sitting here with um, Mr. Kel Kearns, the um, the one and only, and um, and uh, giving me a great opportunity to uh, to showcase a little bit about his life and uh, about who he is, you know, as a member of the Ford team. Yeah. Right. So, um, Mr. Kearns, please tell me, um, where are you from? I love the accent. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm an Australian, okay. and, um, but I've been uh, working overseas with Ford for the last 10 years in India, China, and now Thailand, so I'm uh, loving Thailand. Nice, nice. So, I mean, how did, you, um, how did you get with Ford, I mean, if you mind me asking? Yeah, I guess um, I started out uh, in the Royal Australian Air Force, um, okay. Uh, and, uh, and I'm a, an engineer, an yes, aerospace sir. engineer, but I've always loved cars and loved racing. Okay. And um, as a kid, I did what uh, most racers do, got into go-karting, you know. Um, but, but then when I joined, uh, I joined the Air Force, I was in the Air Force for about 10 years, and um, the circumstances um, uh, all, all lined up, and, and I left and started a new career at Ford. So I've been with Ford for 26 years. Very nice, very nice. So I, I presume that you started off in the engineering uh, department of Ford. And when did you actually get into the racing side of it? Uh, yeah, that's interesting. R racing's racing's tough. It's either you, you're sort of in and you and, and you're part of the the crowd and known and and, and get um, get asked to uh, participate. And then uh -huh. and then and then if you if you sort of get out of that and you get busy with work, um, you right. sort of uh, uh, don't do it for a while. So so. Um, so I had some opportunities with Ford early and, mm -hmm. um, and uh, doing some endurance races and, and some things with product down in Australia. Nice, and, nice. Um, and that was good fun. And then as a hobby, I just kept it up um, like once a year, trying okay. to do a track day somewhere. Um, and uh, now that opportunity's come back again mm. um, with the uh, Ford Thailand race team. Nice. Um, I wasn't intending to drive, um, but COVID-19 actually provided me an opportunity. Really? Uh, really now? Yeah, because without, without COVID, we would have had international drivers here for the Thailand Super Series. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, uh, the seat was vacant in the Mustang. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a, a Thailand national license because yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been yeah. karting. And um, I got that up, upgraded to uh, international and I was able to have the opportunity again. OK. So, so that means that you are, um, are racing in the T TAV8. Yeah, correct. Right, right. Yeah. Could you please tell me a little bit more about that? What is what exactly is the TV TAVA? Well, TA comes from tra Trans Am. That's okay. what, what I mean. So it's a, a series that um, was developed in North America. Right. Um, but TA um, TA two is called there. Or is um, runs in North America, runs in Australia, oh. run, uh, runs here in in Asia. Um, so Craig Corliss with Corliss Race Engineering brought here to based in Thailand. Uh -huh. um, it's been here for two or three years. Nice. So, so we have um, our Ford Mustang, uh, yeah, yeah. the Chevy Camaro, uh, and a Dodge as well. So, um, nice. so I'm representing Ford in the Mustang. Okay, so basically it is, it's, the, it's a universal engine, I take it, and then you, you change the shell of it, right, to be whatever um, brand yeah. Yeah, you would like. So, so it's a typical control series where, uh -huh. where, where the chassis and, the, and all the components are common. Uh -huh. um, and has a, a different um, a different body styles for, for yeah. the different manufacturers. Nice. Um, in the racing here, right, there is a category that has the TAV8 category on it in its own. Um, I'm curious to ask, like, um, who exactly are you racing against? Yeah. So, so in pre pre COVID, um, the the field of TAV8s was um, much larger. You know, ten yeah, or twelve yeah, cars. Yeah. Um, but um, but with the travel restrictions that are still on, I right. haven't, haven't been able to have that many. So, so we ended up in a combined class mm -hmm. uh, with GTC and, uh, and with, um, with touring cars. So, uh, um, okay. so it's three races within a race. Nice, um, nice. And, uh, but the GTCs and, uh, and the TA uh, V8s are pretty similar in lap time. Mm -hmm. Like in practice just now. Um, yeah, you got number you got number one. Up yeah, there but on uh, one. one of the GTCs was uh, number two was um, yeah, about half a second slower, so it's pretty close. Well, mm -hmm. you know what? If uh, anyone has watched the movie, um, what you call it, the Fast and the Furious, they say yeah. that you know what I mean. 
whether you win by a, an inch or a mile, you know, <laughs> a win is a win, right? That's it. <laughs> I hate to quote that movie, but you know what? I had to do it. You just yeah. brought it to me. Now, um, what is, um, you're also with the uh, Auto Alliance. Yeah. It, yeah, what, is, what exactly, is that, is that your company per se? I mean, do you, is that in engines or is that it? Uh, no, that's a good question. So, um, Auto Alliance Thailand is a joint venture between Ford and Mazda. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, we're actually celebrating 25th uh, anniversary this year. Uh -huh. So, so it's a manufacturing facility that that builds um, Fords, and right now we build Ford Rangers and Ford Everests, okay. and we build Mazda cars. So, so Mazda two, Mazda three, CX three, and CX thirty. Okay. So, um, uh, and, and it's a joint uh, venture between Ford and Mazda. So, I'm the president and the CEO, and every three years that changes over. It swaps between a Ford guy and a Mazda guy. Okay. So, um, so I'm in charge uh, uh, for this three-year period, and um, uh, yeah, making uh, making Fords and Mazdas for uh, not only for Thailand but for export around 120 countries around the world. Now, um, the Fords here in Thailand are they are they like are they the same? Um as the Fords in Australia or the Fords in the United States? I mean, are they built the same way or are they? Um, so, so it goes by um, whichever uh, factories build a particular model. And, 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 and in these days, it's, uh, it's a global model. So, so you generally export. So, so the Ford Ranger or the Ford Everest, for example, that uh -huh. it's in Australia, is yeah. made here by us in Thailand. Okay, so, nice, so we ship nice. it to Australia. Um, we ship, um, you know, we ship cars to the Philippines. We ship to Middle East, um, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, so um, both Ford and Mazda, ha well, all, all manufacturers have plants around the world, and you um, ship to countries based on the, um, the basically the, the the duties and and the government laws at the time. Perfect. Now, and now let's get into the little bit more um, more harder questions you know I mean I'd like to know you know I mean we're actually sitting here with the CEO you know what I mean of a production plant and of a company and you know what I mean a race car driver and you know ex-military and entrepreneur and so on so on I could probably list a whole you know plethora of, um, of um, titles and, and traits that you have but I'd like to start off with um, first like you know what do you like to do like on your free time you don't sound like you have much free time sir well, that's a, that's a good question, and but for me, mm -hmm. it's it's car racing. You, you know, when you when you all of us, right? We we all have mobile phones now. We're all, all connected all the time. Uh, lots of us do busy jobs. Yeah. You 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 uh, can never get away from work. Right. It's always always happening. You'll get a text. You're at dinner with your family or something. Something will happen, and for a split second, you're focusing on the job at hand, but then you, you're always thinking about work in the background, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. For me, the only time when I'm 100% focused on what I'm doing and my mind is, is blank, if you will, is when I'm in the race car. Nice. And, and you go out there and, it, and it's, it's 60 degrees in the car and it's physically tough and you come out and you're exhausted, but mentally, it's yeah. the only rest I ever get. And mm -hmm. So, so at the end of the end of the end of the race weekend, yeah, that's that's what well that, that that's one of the big reasons I do it. I come come out of it so mentally refreshed because for that time, that's all I'm thinking about, nothing else. Like a good night's sleep, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. So, in your experience, how would you identify, like, let's say, for example, a kid or someone that had potential? You know, what I mean, comes across your way. You know, and you know that, you know, resumes get thrown out every day and you know what I mean, not everyone gets an opportunity for things, but every once in a while you'll come across, you know what I mean, like a person or two that has some sort of potential. I mean, for you, Mr. Kearns, I mean, what would you look at, you know what I mean, if the person says that, okay, I want to be a race car driver and I want to drive for Ford, I want to do this. Yep. Yeah. So, so it's really, really good to have the passion in the first place, yeah? Okay. So, so being, being, have, having passion for something, being, being driven is a really good start. But you do need the opportunities, and in, 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 in race cars, uh, it, it's expensive, yes. um, and and you get limited times to show your ability. So, 
the good thing is Thailand is a really, really great place for up and coming drivers because grassroots. Yes. When, when I first came here, I, I, I went to the Bira circuit and had a look and I was surprised. There was, uh, there's a go-kart track there, the, the amount of people that go go-karting and yeah. go-karting is always the place to start, right? Ah. For a young kid. Yes. Yeah. And because um, you learn so much and you learn about race craft and you learn, you learn lots of things. Mm -hmm. Um, but even the, the club racing at the track it, itself, you know, people who own Mazda 2s or, 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 or other small hatches and having fun and, and participating on the weekend. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so that's where to start. And, and, then, and then amongst your peers there, if you can show some results, right. then there are people around then that will, will, um, will, will pick you up and give you opportunities scout you in the, in there, the huh? bigger things. Nice. And, um, you know, and then Thailand's... You know, almost got it all right. So, so you know, here today we've got GT3s running around, and yeah. and GT3s are, are pretty serious stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, so, so, so there's there's that that progression opportunity for for Thai people here. Okay, all right. So, I would assume that that would be your advice for them. I mean, as to if you if you do want to start off, you know, in in some sort of racing anywhere. I mean, the best way to do is the grassroots approach and not to street race, I would say. Yeah. Um, start off with go-karts, you know what I mean? Show your ability and show your, show your will. And then um, I guess the old way it is, you know what I mean? Hard work, you know, and a lot of yeah. perseverance, you know, yields results. And, um, you know, I don't want to take up too much of your time. You know, you are, you know, very, very busy and you've graced us with, um, with this. A little bit of a, a window of opportunity to get to know the CEO of Alliance, Auto Alliance and, uh, a person of Ford, you know, yeah. for over 20 years, you know, with us at, you know, at We Motorsports and at, you know, uh, you and me Digital Magazine, is that we have to thank you, you know, for the opportunity, you yeah. know, to give us to uh, to show the younger generation uh, in Asia or anywhere in the world, you know, what I mean, that there is a possibility and there is a chance for them to do what they would, what they they dream to do, and you being a perfect example of somebody that has, you know, came up, you know, from the ranks and have done what you needed to do, you know, to be where you are today. So um, would you have any um, last um, comments you would like to, to, to send off to them before we dis depart? Uh, yeah, w w we're all driven yeah. by passion for something, yeah? And, uh, and, and as we've just discussed, my, my passion is racing and that's why I joined Ford in the first place, yeah? yeah. Um, so, so, so my advice to anyone is, you know, if you're passionate about something, just, just, just go for it. Try and, try and find the opportunities. And, and motor racing too is, um, it doesn't all have to come straight away, you know. Um, yes, the, I, I took a number of years off and there's a lot of examples of people have done different things in the middle of their life and, yeah. and then gotten back into it again later. So, um, so uh, just, just chase your dream, but uh, Thailand, the, the opportunities are here. Just get to a racetrack and um, start to meet people and, um, and uh, show some results and have fun. Mr. Kern, the honor is mine and thank you very much for being here with us and um, I hope you enjoy and best of luck to you on the rest of the, on the, rest of the, the race. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Cup Cheers. and cup. <laughs>